We welcome you to another presentation of the Methodist Connection, half an hour of hymns and songs and the stories behind it. Thanks so much for your interest and support. Thank you for joining us. Let us pray. Gracious God, creator of the universe and of each of us, we come to you with hearts that are filled with love and hope and affirmation. Father, we love you because you first love us and have confirmed that love by sending your son Jesus Christ to be our savior and friend. And through his death and resurrection, we have hope of eternal life. May our presentation of hymns be a blessing to all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We begin with the first hymn. Behold the servant of the Lord, I wait thy guiding eye to see. It is a hymn written by Charles Wesley, an English leader of the Methodist movement and hymn writer. The hymn was first published in 1742 in a collection called Hymns and Sacred Poems. Charles Wesley is known for writing thousands of hymns, many which is still used today. The hymn, Behold a Servant of the Lord, I wait thy guiding eye to feel, reflects Wesley's deep faith and his focus on Christian's personal relationship with God. The words express a sense of humility and submission to God's guidance and will. The hymn is a prayer for divine direction and willingness to serve according to God's plan. Please join in the singing of this hymn, Behold the Servant of the Lord. It is number 304 in the Methodist Hymn Book, Voices in Praise, Hymnal.
The next hymn is God of Mercy, God of Grace. It is number 376 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. This hymn, God of Mercy, God of Grace, was written by Henry Francis Light, who was born in 1793 and died in 1847. It was first published in Light's The Spirit of the Psalms in 1834 as a free paraphrase of Psalm 67. Light wrote two versions of Psalm 67, of which this was the second, which was printed in English Presbyterian book, Psalms and Hymns for Divine Worship in 1867. The hymns, three verses, neatly and sharply sum up the psalm, which is itself short and to the point. God be merciful unto us and bless us. God of mercy, God of grace, show thy brightness of your face. Shine upon us, Savior, shine. Fill your church with light divine. And your saving health extend unto the earth's remotest end. Please join in the singing of this hymn, God of mercy, God of grace. It is number 376 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in praise. God of mercy, God of grace, show the brightness of your face. Shine upon us, Savior, shine. Fill your church with thy divine. And your next hymn is Wear the Cross, the Crowded Ways of Life. It is number 5 to 6 in the Methodist Hymn Book, Voices in Praise Hymnal. This hymn, Wear the Cross, the Crown, Ways of Life, was written by Frank Mason Nord in 1903. The hymn emphasizes the presence of Christ in the midst of our daily lives and challenges, and challenges us to follow him in all that we do. Please join in the singing of this hymn. We sing the praises of him who died. It is number 98 in the Methodist Hymn Book, Voices in Praise Hymn Book.
We continue with the fourth hymn, Father who had on us that shower, is number five to eight in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise, hymnal. The author of this hymn, Perry Dema, is the son of Thomas Dema, who was born in London on February 27, 1867, and was educated at Westminster School and at Christ Church, Oxford. He was ordained a deacon in 1891 and then a priest in 1892 and have served as the vicar of St. Mary the Virgin, Primrose Hill, London, since 1902. The hymn is a prayer of thanksgiving and praise to God for the blessings and provisions that have been showered upon humanity. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless themes of gratitude and praise that it conveys. Please join us in the singing of this hymn, Father, who on us doth shower, number five to eight, in Voices in Praise Methodist hymn book. The next hymn is Jesus Had Died and Had Risen Again. It is number one to four in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. This hymn, with its unknown writer, reflects the central Christian belief in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, as well as the promise of pardon, peace, and salvation through faith in him. The historical facts behind this hymn are rooted in the Christian faith, which teaches that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross for the forgiveness of sins and rose again from the dead 
offering salvation to those who believe in him. Jesus had died and had risen again. Pardon and peace is bestowed. Fully I trust him from sin's guilty stain. Jesus saves me now. Jesus saves me now. Jesus saves me now. Yes, Jesus saves me all the time. Jesus saves me now. Please join us in the singing of this hymn of adoration. It is number one to four in the Voices in Praise hymn book of the Methodist Church. We conclude today's program with the final hymn, Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. It is number 28 in the Methodist Hymn Book, Voices in Praise. This hymn is a special request from one of our faithful viewers, a resident from Arakabesa in the parish of St. Mary, Sister Winsome Cock. We hope that she will be blessed by the presentation of this hymn. The author of this hymn is Jochen Nada, who was born in 1650 and died in 1680. He lived a short and turbulent life in Burma, a town in Northwest Germany. One day, at the age of 21, as a student of Latin and poetry, Nida went with two friends to a local church service, seeking to mock and criticize the new pastor. Instead, after hearing the preaching of the gospel, Nida was converted to Christianity and devoted his life to the study of theology. 
This gave birth to this hymn of the ages. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, King of creation. Please join us in the singing of this well-known hymn. It is number 28 in Voices in Praise, Methodist Hymn Book. Thanks so much for joining me on the Methodist Connection. I am Stanley Ruben Griffin, inviting you to join us next week on this same station for the Methodist Connection. You may write to us or email us with your comments or suggestions for hymns you would like the choirs to sing at Jamaica Methodist Link 143 Content Spring Road, Kingston 8. The email address is main office at jamaicamethodist.org or you may send us whatsapp messages and voice calls at 876-445-5713 or 876-925-6768 do continue to support us by joining us each week in viewing these programs and experiencing god's blessing through some we invite you to make your love gifts for the upkeep of this ministry. Please make checks payable to the Jamaica Methodist link or use one of the contacts on your screen to arrange for electronic transfers deposit. Do have a very good day. The peace of Christ be with you now and always.